Well, I think that um, in a certain sense, uh, I am uh, I'm an engineer monkey. I, if I'd had a slightly different upbringing or slightly different parentage or something, I think I would have been an engineer. I'm fascinated with how things work and taking them apart, putting them back together again. And so f for as long as I can remember, I've been puzzling about how consciousness could work. What what can be going on in between one's ears that could explain all the things that happen? And what uh, fascinated me over the years was that people had some pretty interesting glimmers. I thought, well, there's, there's got to be something right about this bit, and there's got to be something right about that bit. So I just began to accumulate those and think about how to put them all together. And of course, I can't put them all together at any level of detail, but I could sketch out a big picture. It's, it's a little bit like what um, uh, software engineers do when they just work out the specs. You know, here's a system that has... You can do this, 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 and this, and it's got to be able to do this too. And they don't yet know exactly how to build something that has all those competences, but at least they've sketched out what the competences are. So I began to make a, a, a sort of informal specs list. This is what consciousness does. Now, can I imagine ways, or can anybody, has anybody already done it and saved me the trouble, that consciousness can do this and this? And I think the great power of thinking that way is that it keeps you from just stopping in your tracks, slack-jawed and wondering and thinking, oh my gosh, this is just, uh, this is just impenetrably, fantastically mysterious. Uh, and I think that's a, a very natural attitude, but one that whenever you feel it, you should say, okay, Back to work. Uh, why is it so wonderful? What, what, what does this part of consciousness add to the mix? What does it do? What f and then what happens? Okay, you have this experience, and then what happens? What, what can you do because you had that experience that you couldn't do if you hadn't had that experience? Uh, or what happens in you because you had that experience that wouldn't happen in you uh, without that experience. And if you just break the problems down calmly like this, you begin to build up a sense of all the things that need to go on for us to be conscious. Now, once you've got that list, the mistake is, is in assuming that uh, after you've explained all those, there's, in addition, this further big problem, the hard problem, which is, and yeah, and then where does consciousness come in? No, that is, that is consciousness. Consciousness isn't another thing. It's, it's all of those tricks. Mm -hmm.